Heads up, while most of my content is family friendly and suitable for all ages, Phoenix Wright Trials and Tribulations is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB rating system, and as such the videos in this Let's Play are likely to contain mild blood and or violence possibly at the same time. So viewer discretion is advised. All right, time to go to court, I guess. Uh, sure. Marty has predicted Godot is going to be a robot. Oh, yeah! I forgot that's what we're doing. Okay, okay. Now I'm excited. I hope he is. Well, because it looked like Godot. Which, Godot. It, it, but it has a T, and that was my immediate thought was robot. Otherwise, um, it. I would love to see, like, a Mace Windu type of character. That'd be amazing. Okay, Like a dude with right. shaved head. And like buff, I don't know. That could purple be cool. lightsaber. Purple lightsaber. All right. Well, no, or what, what, who's the other guy that um, Samuel L. Jackson played in um, Jurassic Park? I don't remember his you name. You don't remember his name? No. The guy was just like, hold on to your butts. Yeah, hold on to your butts. That's what it was. I was like, holy butts. What? <laughs> it's October thirteenth, nine thirty-six a.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby Number Four. Hey, Nick. What is it? Is something wrong? Nah. But did you see all the people here? It's crazy. Oh, look at this. I bought, I, yeah, I bought this mask, mask, mask publicity photo. I was like, bought, bought, what? You bought that? Where? From the metal tents in front of the courthouse. They have all sorts of things for sale. You know I'm a sucker for this kind of stuff. Mask, mask publicity photo stuck onto the court record. Wow. <laughs> Come on, a guilty from the book of me. Who's screaming like that? Oh, Mr. Wright, you made it! Then why are you screaming you're guilty? <laughs> yeah, I did, but it doesn't look like things are going to get any less ugly for you. Because I did it! I'm the criminal! Me, me, me! Ugh, he's at it again. I said the calling cards are more to be Taylor! I admit it! But you don't have the sacred urn, right? Well, that's true, but it doesn't mean I didn't commit the crime. Normally, when I say, of course you didn't, I'm being sarcastic, but you? Yikes! Anyway, I admit that I'm guilty, so make sure to give me a guilty verdict, please! You're getting blackmailed. Oh, there you are, Ronnie! Bonjour, sweetie! Oh, the Desi, honey! The bonjour! Well, actually, I don't really know why I should be speaking French to you at the time. Leave it all in me, Ronnie. I swear I'll protect you. Um, uh, uh, well, uh, you see, actually, the thief is in here. Can I tell you something, Nicky boy? I can guarantee that my Ronnie's innocent. If he's declared guilty, I'll be ever so cross with you. So why are you smiling when you say it? <laughs> well, if you'll excuse me, I've got some errands I need to take care of. Did you just school leave him there? What the heck? <laughs> Later! <laughs> Worst wife. Okay. I'm counting on you, Nicky boy. Good luck. Yeah, for real. Like, if your husband's on trial, at least be there. What if they want to question her? <laughs> Maybe that's why she's going away. She's like, well, they're going to question me and find out about the blackmail. Yeah. To be honest, I really don't know whether Ron is masked to mask or not. But there's only one thing I am sure of. He doesn't have the sacred urn right now. Mr. Delight, it's time for you to enter the courtroom. For the time being, I guess I'll have to trust Desiree. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> okay, we're gonna see October the October 13th, 10 a.m., District Court, courtroom number six. Oh. White hair. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Ron Delight. The defense is ready, Your Honor. <laughs> I mean, you weren't entirely far off. He has, He's like, a, a VR mecha, headset? He has, like, a visor. <laughs> what about the prosecution? Are you prepared to? What a stupid question. What did you say? Fine, let me ask you then, Your Honor. Are you ready? Are you ready to pass judgment? <laughs> what? N no, I'm not. I will pass judgment after I hear arguments from both sides. Well, if you're not ready yourself, you shouldn't expect others to be. That's a rule to live by. Not if you're a prosecutor. <laughs> um, who are you? I'm Godot. Legendary prosecutor. I've never lost a case. Ah! He's the one that Detective Acme was talking about! <laughs> and his theme song is like a smooth, jazzy coffee house. It like, is. <laughs> okay, I'm just trying to figure out, like, if he ends up, like, freaking out and be like, ah, and breaks down if, like, his visor will fly off or something. Hmm. Yeah, interesting. 
Yes, your reputation precedes you. What kind of cases have you dealt with so far? Ha! <laughs> None. Um... What did you say? I've never prosecuted a case before. But they say he's the best?! <laughs> <laughs> never? But you said you've never lost before. Yeah. Exactly. I've never lost. lost. He's never I've won. never won before either. Quite arrogant for a beginner, aren't you? Even the mightiest of redwoods begin their lives as mere saplings. Cool. Yes, but a mask in a court of law? <laughs> Ha! Don't you know anything? This would be hilarious if he was masked mask. <laughs> um, <laughs> no matter the man, we all wear masks. Either on our faces or over our hearts. I mean, that's pretty true. <laughs> this guy's so weird. He's so heck? weird, but what he's saying is sort of true. Also, for some reason, I don't know why, but every time I do his voice, my eyes involuntarily start watering. <laughs> oh, This is really? gonna be great. This guy is the real deal, all right, Nick? Why does it seem like all prosecutors are the real deal? So we finally meet Mr. Phoenix Trite. Nick, is he a friend of yours? No, I don't have any friends that call me Trite. Just who is this masked man? I've returned from the depths of hell. Cool. To do battle with you. Cool. <laughs> well then, uh, Prosecutor Gabo. It's not Gabo, it's Godot, your honor. In any case, please give your opening statement. Opening statement? Those things are not fit for even dogs to consume. Okay, dude, like, do your job. <laughs> this guy is so, such a jerk, man. <laughs> I have only one thing to say before we start. To you, Mr. Trite. W what is it? Are you familiar with the saying, a chain is only as strong as its weakest link? Actually, yes. I wonder, how much can you withstand before you and your case break into? Oh, nice smile you got there. <laughs> yep. I wonder if he, like, maybe he's wearing the mask because he has, like, the most ugliest burn or something on his <laughs> face. Or, you know, you know, or maybe it's, like, where Aang has the bandana on. It's, like, you have to take the bandana off in class. He's like, I have a scar! Oh, it's scar really really embarrassing. Embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> It's, like, you know, the yeah. symbol. Yeah. Maybe it's something like that. Hmm. Well, then, let's hear from the first witness. Oh, look! An old friend. <laughs> um, my name is... No one has asked for your name, Witness. Well, we need <clears throat> it. <laughs> the important thing is what you know. That's all. We have this guy. Start talking. We're listening. Cool. Y yes, sir. All right, Witness. First, let's hear about what you know about the thief that stole the bird. Nothing. Yes, sir. Wow, this guy is almost as, like... Cutting in corn, like cutting in between conversations as um, v uh, Manfred. Von Karma. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Von Karma was like, this is stupid. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't actually punch anyone. No, it was a snap. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I can't snap. <laughs> Mask the Mask's crimes. Mask the Mask is a master thief that first started his crime spree six months ago. That's it? He's so confident he sends his calling card before he even commits the crime. I mean, six months and he's already doing this well is pretty cool. This was his fifth heist, and as usual, he sent a card to Lord, Lord Lee Taylor. Cool. His pattern is to always go after only the most precious art pieces. Why would you go after the urn? That's why we're sure it was Mask the Mask, sir. It fits his M.O. to a T. Cool, but... The urn literally was proven to be, like, one of the most worthless items in that museum. So why would you steal it? <laughs> why would you it? steal it? Huh. You already saw the contradiction. Yeah. Hmm, so then the actual identity of this mask to mask is... M Mr. Godot! Y you... <laughs> no, no, I know who this surprised me of. This is literally like um, Bambina if he was a prosecutor and not... <laughs> Jake Marshall, you mean? Yeah, I call him Bambina because I can't remember his name as much. But yeah, if it's, it's like if Jake Marshall, like, that sort of weird, like, I... I ha yeah, that weird quirky side, plus, like, drinking. <laughs> We're in the middle of a trial here, Mr. Godot. Blacker than a moonless night, coffee? hotter and more bitter than hell itself. That is <laughs> I'm sure you can grant me at least this much, Your Honor. Oh, please, proceed. Uh. Very well, it's only coffee after all. What if he spills it on something? <laughs> what? You can't be letting him slide this early in the trial. This is what's gonna happen. We're gonna be like, here's photographic evidence. We'll be like, oh, shh. <laughs> just, like, throw the coffee Ooh, on it. photograph together. <laughs> <laughs> Proceed with your cross-examination, Mr. Wright. Well, Nick, what are we going to do? As long as they haven't brought up Mr. Delight's identity. 
All we can do is show that it wasn't Mask Damask who stole the urn. Alright. Masks well, Damask. Well, I already cries. figured it out. It's amazing. It helps if I uh, play this game pretty frequently instead of once every two weeks. <laughs> right. <laughs> you started six months ago. Blah, blah, blah. Have you been involved in the investigation from the beginning? Nope. Yo! Oh, yes? Nobody knows more about the thief than me, pal. It's true! I'm a Zvari! Author on thieves! Oh no. An author? He's written books about thieves? Um, I think he probably meant to say authority. The fact that this guy can slip through even my fingers shows how good he is, pal. Um. <laughs> it's easy when those fingers happen to be butter fingers. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> Just press harder. <laughs> so, nobody knows more about the thief than you, huh? You got it, pal! Except maybe for the thief's mom, that is. <laughs> <laughs> but isn't there someone who knows even more about him than the police? You don't mean Detective Zvari, do you? Hmm, who is this person? Zvari? He sounds German. His name is Book at me, sir. I guess I shouldn't have made up such a silly name for him. What the heck? I guess he's not all that famous after all. Anyway, it's true that he did manage to retrieve the last item for the thief stole. Oh, I see. It seems you're not the expert you claim to be. Durr! It, it looks like the thief is playing with me even now. He's so confident, he says his calling card. Cool. Nothing says confident like calling cards. Have you seen all of these so-called calling cards? Of course I have. Except, the person in charge of the treasure exhibit never brought their card to the police. So, I didn't see this one until after the crime occurred. That's because Detective Atney stopped Miss Andrews from taking it from the police. To the police? Taking it to the police. Was the calling card that Lord V. Taylor received authentic? Well, all the cards have one common identifying feature. But we're not releasing that information to the general public. But you're absolutely certain that this card is real? Gumshoe can't say it out loud, but I bet he's talking about Mask the Mask's emblem. Mm, you this could fake an emblem. <laughs> it's like the fire emblem. Yeah, give up the fire emblem. His fifth heist, and your fifth screw-up, huh? OBJECTION, PAL! That ain't fair! Maybe you could say I screwed up four times! But this last time wasn't my fault! I didn't know about the calling card this time! You of all people shouldn't be chuckling about this, Detective Gumshoe. I just want everyone here in the courtroom to know something! If you ever get a calling card from this guy, don't call some stupid private eye! Call your local police right away, got me? Wow, looks like he's really got it for Detective Atme. Got it in for... Oh. <laughs> he's really got the hots for Detective Atme. <laughs> <laughs> I do not yep, I no. do not ship that. I don't either. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. He only goes after the most precious art pieces. That would be like a Maya thing, though. would be like, oh, yeah. this is ridiculous. Art pieces? Like what, for example? Well, his, fifth t her, his first target was the famous Tear of Eminon. What's that? Some kind of especially salty teardrop? No, sir. It's a blue diamond. A single rare diamond. Pretty big, too. Next was the crown of Bangora. You know, that thing you put on your head. After that was the left hand of Hades, and then the portrait of Magina, sir. Detective Atney retrieved the portrait of Magina and returned it to the museum. And the target of his fifth and last robbery was the sacred urn, right? But isn't it difficult for him to dispose of such famous art pieces? Well, we assume he must have some underworld connections. Somehow, Mr. Delight doesn't look the type. Yeah, he's a little too sunny to be hanging out in the underworld. <laughs> That's why we're sure it was Master Mask, sir. Fits his mo to a T. <laughs> what do you mean when you say, it fits his M.O. to a T? I was thinking of asking the same thing myself. Ugh, I wish you would listen a little more closely, pal. First of all, there's the calling card. We're a thou- we're a hundred percent certain- One thousand percent! And Gumshoe can say, we're a thousand percent certain it's authentic. Then there's the fact that he seemed to know all about the security system. And finally, his target was an art piece. These are all part of the thief's modus operandi. And so, since those robberies seem to fit all those conditions? That's right! It means that Mask Mask is behind it. Nick! It definitely looks like it was Master Mask who stole the urn! We have photographic evidence that a guy at least dressed like Master Mask was yeah. the guy did it. We have a lot of uh, times where people dressed up in order to... <laughs> Steal Samurai case. Steal Samurai. Uh, case 2-2. Also, yeah, Case 2-2. Um, Green Master dressed up like Max. Yep. Adrian dressed up like the Nickel Samurai. I forgot about that one! <laughs> okay, there's a lot. That, that means nothing. 
Next up, it's gonna be Phoenix wearing a dress or something. <laughs> that would be. If Link is wearing girls' costumes in Breath of the Wild, it's only a matter of time. <laughs> but there's no real evidence either way as to whether Ron Delight is masked the mask. But, but... Also, the urn hasn't turned up yet, let alone in connection to Mr. Delight himself. So even though we know it was Master Mask that did it... Maybe for the time being I should try to show it wasn't Master Mask that did it. Okay, did I figure it out? Yeah, you figured it out. Look, it's... A sacred urn, supposedly priceless, but it has no... no monetary value. Yeah! Can I ask you a little something, Detective Gumshoe? Just hearing the little in that question is making me nervous. You said that he always goes after the most precious art pieces, right? That's right, pal! But there's one problem that's not what he did this in this case. The supposedly priceless urn doesn't exactly rise on the to the level of precious art. W what do you mean? Nick, how can you say such a terrible thing? No! I meant from a financial point of view. I mean, it wouldn't fetch a good price. Well, Prosecutor Godot, what is the value of that urn? He has been quiet. The appraisers I spoke to said they couldn't attach a price to it, and I mean that in the worst sense. Uh, so, in other words, it was not the kind of item that Mask to Mask would normally go after. Plot, uh, <laughs> plot twist. Morgan broke out of jail and was like, I need to get the sacred urn back. Dresses up. <laughs> that would be in. interesting. <laughs> there's, a, there's the paint that spilt, so maybe she was drinking paint and then it spilled. <laughs> <laughs> it's totally Morgan. Hmm, if I understand you correctly, Mr. Wright... You're saying that the theft of the sacred urn was not the work of Mask to Mask. Y yes that's what I'm saying. Actually, all I did was point out the contradiction. The argument made itself, but... Well, first of all, we need to get this issue cleared up. Was this last robbery the work of Mask to Mask or not? What do you have to say about this, Mr. Gideau? Yeah? Somebody is dressed up. <laughs> that's my think. Maybe he did it! I don't know, maybe the prosecutor will just be gone. This coffee here, it's my own special blend. I call it Godot number 107. How'd you get that in the courthouse? <laughs> I'm trying to decide whether to cut down on the acidity or the bitterness. That's the only thing I've got on my mind right now. Mr. Trite. Why? If you're really a man, you should clean up your own mess. Um, uh, sorry, but I don't get what you mean. If you're saying it wasn't Mask to Mask that stole the urn, then it must be someone imitating Mask Damask's methods. A fake. A, a fake Damask? Fake Damask? That sounds so ridiculous. But I like it. Now, before I decide on my coffee, I believe some proof is in order, Mr. Trite. Proof that the person who appeared at Lord Me Taylor that night was actually a fake. Yeah, if, pe if he doesn't get much better, I don't know why people would fall in love with this guy. Or, like, really <laughs> like this prosecutor. I mean, he's weird. And he does that, he, like, I like his, his music. His music is really good. I, I, like I also this. just like the coffee aspect. Yeah, that's kind of cool. <laughs> hmm. Though I don't approve of Mr. Godot's behavior, his point is valid. Mr. Wright, we're waiting. Looks like I'm going to have to prove it. I need proof that the person at Lord of Me Taylor that night was, in fact, faked to mask. <laughs> well, probably the picture. There's a security camera photo. <laughs> He looks a little... Take it at 12.58 a.m. Well, that's about... Is it? Yeah. The yeah, the, right yeah there. I just realized it's military, military time. time. <sighs> that would make sense, though, because if it, like... You'd have to change everything in every case. Wait, like, what's the point of having it in military time if you have a.m. or p.m. listed next to it? You're zero, just confusing zero, zero. everybody. Yeah, that's, that's dumb. Okay, what else we got? The publicity photo. So there's him in his costume. Wee. Cool, then let's see the other one again. So I want to see if there's, like, differences. Where is his hand? What do you mean? There. No, but... And there. Oh. I was like... <laughs> oh, you thought it was, like, cut too... off? I thought it was cut off, like, person in the costume, their arms weren't long enough. <laughs> um... It's not Lanky Kong in that costume. They have a box. And a weird hat. But the hat, I think, was a part of his costume. It was, yeah. Okay. The box is the treasure. Um, yeah. go back. To this one? Yeah. There's no feather. Yeah, there is. There was? Yeah. The other one? Yeah. Really? Yeah. What about the... In his hat? Yeah, see? Oh, wait! I see it! What? Okay, in the other one, there's like a weird skull on his chest. And that one, he doesn't have it. 
That's, See that? That's the brooch, yeah. He doesn't have his brooch. Good, good eye. <laughs> Let's get it wrong, though. <laughs> Why is Ernie's back? What is this evidence supposed to prove? Ha. Huh. Well, it proves someone here is a fake, all right. It's a real attorney's badge! It proves that this lawyer is a fake. These prosecutors sure know how to twist the knife. This is no time to be impressed! Think it over again! When he stole the urn, his photo was taken, right? Who knows? Maybe there's something on the... on there that shows he's a fake. Hmm, is she talking about the photo we got from Andy? Wow, <laughs> way to just hold our hand, huh? Oh wait, we're all safe today. <laughs> we'll go all the way back there! Okay. The proof is right here. This looks like a photo taken by a security camera. But if you look closely, you'll notice something peculiar about it. He's like, no. Ha. Well then, why don't you go ahead and show us what it is? Go on, use this pointer and show us just what about this picture is so peculiar. Was I right? As a matter of fact, you were. <laughs> this someone spilled paint! It was Morgan Fay! Yeah! It's right here, I think. Is that what was so peculiar? Ha. This place that you're pointing to is all wrong. Then why don't you tell people? What? Well, what do you mean? The only thing peculiar in this courtroom is on top of your head. Nick, are you going to let him get away with making fun of your hair? Yes, at least until I know he can't use his goggles to fry me or something. <laughs> well, well, anyway, there is a strange spot in this photo. Ha, still haven't given up? So, what is it then? Oh wow, we didn't get penalized? Wow, that's so nice. That is nice, yeah, you got it right. It's right here, of course. You mean, mask to mask? I have here a piece of reference I would like the court to take a look at. Isn't that the publicity photo I bought this morning? Thank you for buying that. The problem I have with the security camera photo is the brooch on the mask's chest. A breach? Here? Bailiff, get my steed! We must retreat at once! <laughs> a brooch, your honor. It's a sort of clasp for holding one's cape on. A clasp, eh? Ah, I see now. But the masked mask in the security camera photo... Ah! He has no brooch! That brooch is the same as the emblem on Damask's calling card and serves as his symbol. Thanks for blurting that out for the whole court. You ruined it. <laughs> but the thief that broke into Lord V. Taylor wasn't wearing a brooch. In other words, this masked Damask is a fake. I've been fooled again! Uh, order! It's true. Undeniably true. Detective Gumshoe, how- how could you have overlooked this? Uh, I'm sorry, sir. I don't know how I- Let's get some more coffee, how about it? He's gonna go crazy <laughs> if he has any more coffee. <laughs> hey, now. What is it, his third cup? If you're gonna have a pity party, invite me, too. M Mr. Godot, you deserve some blame in this, too. How could you have overlooked such a large brooch? Ha. The brooch you're talking about. Do you mean this? Ah! Th that's Mask Damask's brooch? Well, where did you find it? Well, I've always had a good nose for evidence. I got it at the crime scene. When was he there? <laughs> it was hidden in the shadow of a big female Buddha statue. Buddha statue? He must mean the Ami face statue. Female Buddha. <laughs> Why didn't you tell me about that, sir? I always put evidence away in my pocket. What? You, you can't do that! You can't just take things away from the this crime scene! This is like scene. the second Brosk Edgeworth also did that. What, <laughs> what did when, Edgeworth do that with? Um, the... Not the receipt. Muffler? No, not the no, muffler. Not it was in muffler. case one or two. Case one or two of... Or of, case two or three of the first game. Of the first game? Ah, uh, shoot. Samurai? No, it wouldn't be Samurai, because that... No, that wouldn't have been Samurai. Would it have been, um... Or no, maybe it was Von Karma who did that? Von Karma absolutely would have done Francisca, that. Francisca, I'm talking. Francisca, oh. Francisca, did she take something from the circus case? Maybe, I can't remember. After all, it's the safest place for crucial evidence. Ah, uh, this guy's one cool customer. It's a little early to be shaken up, isn't it, little cup lady? Cup no five. We should have a cup <laughs> thing on the side. Cup number. Cup number on the side and be like, five. 
That friend of yours left pretty little hickeys on there, too. H hickeys? Figuratively speaking, of course. Oh, I was like, course. how? I'm referring to Ron Delight's fingerprints. <laughs> what? What? The defendant's fingerprints are on the brooch? Well, I don't know. Maybe the fake <laughs> Master Mask was the one who bri uh, blackmailed him. And then was like, you, he was trying to fight- You're taking the fall for this. What? You think the, the real- so okay. you think the real mask to mask is blackmailing Ron, being like, you're taking the fall for this. Yeah. Maybe, and then like, he's like, no, and like, reaches out and touches the brooch, and he's like, alright, cool. And then he goes to the scene, <laughs> leaves his brooch. Just like, cuts it off. Order! Order in the courtroom! Mr. Godot, let's see that brooch! I've grown attached to my metallic girlfriend here. It looks like something that jumped out of Zack and Winky. Winky, not Wink, Winky. Winky is the frog from Donkey Winky's Kong. Winky's the frog from Donkey Kong. <laughs> Take good care of her. Hmm. She, I mean, it appears to have been torn off some clothing. There's a little bit of cloth left on the back. Obviously, there must have been a big struggle that night at the crime scene. Oh. Uh -oh. Well. Phoenix, um, we have a problem. <laughs> the detective was at the crime scene because he got knocked out. So. Damascus brooch added to the court record. Ha. You mess with Godot. And you get burned. I like his tie. Ugh, he's been playing me like a violin. Well, Judge, I'm about ready to call my next witness. Oh, I thought you were, what like, the... squealing for no. some reason. Like, yee, we're getting no. look at Have you ever seen those videos of the violin where it's like, yeah, I, like, played the violin to sound like weird insect sounds? No. You've never seen that? No. Where it's just How, someone... Is this recommended on YouTube, or did you search for this? This was recommended for me, and it was just like someone played the violin like a mosquito where it was like, like, it was super weird, but that's Sounds what I, terrible. <laughs> it was terrible. I don't know why I get recommended weird stuff on YouTube. I get... I, most of my recommended stuff is pretty spot on, where it's like, Oh, hey, you watch a lot of Let's Play videos. Maybe you'd like this one. Yeah. Oh, hey, we noticed you watch a couple of GDQ speedruns. Here's another one. The problem is, I watched, like, a couple BuzzFeed videos, so they're like, You want this? And I'm like, no! No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> well, Judge, I'm about ready to call my next witness. Huh? You're done with me? But I haven't proved anything yet. You've proven your own incompetence. Wow! That's good enough. That doesn't sound good at all. <laughs> Bailiff, bring the next witness into the courtroom. Oh wow, it looks like she's gone and she's speeding away on the highway. <laughs> Finally time for the ace detective to make his appearance, huh? Is it? Oh, it is. One second is one drip of the coffee pot. Let's hurry it up. Silence! <laughs> now I see. It's all becoming clear. W what's clear? Zvari! The truth has once again been elegantly revealed to me. What we have here is a judge and a prosecutor. A coffee maniac at that. Am I correct? W well, yes, that's correct. Ha. Not bad. Not bad at all. You're the first person that's ever been able to penetrate my secret veil. Coffee? <laughs> well, Sir Prosecutor, let me introduce myself. My name is Luke Atme, Ace Detective and Rising Star Illuminating the I heavens. kind of hope that that guy isn't the guy who's guilty, because he's probably my favorite character in this case. <laughs> Luke Atme is great. <laughs> Boy, these two make a perfect pair. They'd either be best friends, or they'd tear each other's heads off. That's how best friends are sometimes, though. <laughs> I've heard that on the night of the crime, you were all alone on security detail. You have heard correctly. My specially made monocle is worth more than a hundred Detective Gumshoes. <laughs> if Detective Gumshoe was worth anything, that is. Wow! These guys are jerks! These guys <sighs> epic burns. Why was this guy all by himself anyway? He doesn't have any friends. There must be some reason. I'm sure of it. Well then, tell us what this special monocle of yours witnessed. Cool. Witness testimony. What I witnessed. Zvari. It was approximately one o'clock in the morning, just after the date change. That's when my nemesis, the infamous Master Mask, dancingly descended upon me. Just as I began to turn, the coward struck a fierce blow upon my noble head. Darkness swallowed me before I could land a single strike. When I awoke, he was gone. Thirty minutes later, I used an emergency phone to notify the police. That much time? Oh, wait, he was knocked out. Okay. Okay, here's the thing. Hollywood... 
and like media in general do not get getting knocked, get knocked out, out correct. if you're knocked out for like more than a minute, minute you're, you're gonna have brain damage yeah <laughs> okay so you didn't that is like from like a blow to the from head obviously the if head. you get like an anesthetic or like medicine uh-huh. that put you to sleep yeah. that's different yeah, that's but. different so you didn't get a clear look at the criminal my specially made monocle never misses a fiend however that is limited to fiends that fall within my own visual range but of course that's only natural I fail to see why the witness seemed so proud of his performance that evening. Well, Sir Oldtimer, let me explain. We're not speaking of any ordinary thief, but of the King of Thieves, my the Great Master Mask, my arch enemy. That is what my instincts and my years of experience tell me. Hmm. Very well. Proceed with the cross examination, Mr. Wright. Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the Four E Thieves. Well, unfortunately, I think that's where we're going to have to end the episode. Otherwise, we're going to have a very, oh, very long, long episode. Yeah. So, thanks for watching, everybody. Trials off to an interesting start. Marty was not entirely wrong when she said Godot was going to be a robot. He does I mean, have the he's a visor visor. thing. It's just... It's like that dude from um, Gespionage that has the visor in front. Yeah, basically. basically. Anyhow, look forward to next episode. We're going to be cross-examining Mook at me. This is actually, if memory serves, a fairly short trial period, actually. Huh. But, okay. and maybe I'm forgetting fiends. I uh, hope to see you next time. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.